Shalom, everybody. Welcome to Rega Be'evrit, wishing you Shabbat Shalom and hoping that you have been enjoying going with me through the book of Devarim. This week, we are in Parashat Ekev. The word Ekev in Hebrew is a play on war. Ekev means heal. Heal is always a reference to resistance or delay. You see, in Hebrew, the word Ekev, if you spell it with the letter Chaf, means delay. Ekev with a Kuf represent uh, the heel. And of course, there is a messianic theme for this entire parasha because the time, brothers and sisters, that before Messiah coming is called Akevot Mashiach, the footsteps, the heels of the Mashiach. And we have to understand the context of this parasha. You see, in the very first two verses, we get the entire formula, formula and recipe, as I described in the book, the Besorah, according to COVID-19, for the entire Geula. It starts with the word Ve'aya Ekev. And I want you to think again about it. Ekev here is in a context of Jacob who is grabbing the heel of Esau. Okay, but it doesn't read like this, but we have to understand what it is really talking about here. So what will bring reconciliation to the world? How Mashiach going to come? Mashiach is going to come only when there is restoration between Yaakov and Esau. The restoration of Yaakov and Esau, their reconciliation is mean the final and complete Geula. Now it says here, Vaya Ekev, okay, when the bondage of Jacob grabbing the heel of Esau will heal, will, will be, there will be healing for this. And here is how it's going to happen. Ekev Tishmeun. The word Tishmeun from the word Shema. Listen to this. Et Amishpatim. Now, in your Bible, it might say something like rulings or judge judgment or something like that. But the Hebrew word Mishpatim is important. That's where we get the word Mishpat or Shofet, judges, judgment, Torah. It has a, a section of a Torah that is called Mishpatim has to do with our relationship with one another. And here is the Torah is telling, it, telling us when you fix the relationship the relationship of what? Of the Ekev. Who is the Ekev? Ekev is always a, a reference for Yaakov and Esau. When you fix the relationship between Yaakov and Esau, Veshamartem, meaning you guard the relationship, Vasitem Otam, and you are to do those things, you are to practice Torah with Avat Israel, Ava toward Isav to bring the remnant of Isav out. When Judaism and Christianity reconcile, okay, and God said, Veshamar Adonai Elohecha Lecha et Abrit veet Achesed. God says, I will keep for you the covenant of grace. You see, the word here, Lishmo, means that God is keeping it safe. He's waiting on us today to reconcile. Should we teach Gentile Torah? Yes, because if the Gentiles learn Torah, then we can teach the Gentiles Mishpat. Mishpat, again, is a horizontal relationship. How to heal relationship. God is commanded the Jewish people here to fix the Akev, to fix the Ekev, the delay, to fix them by teaching Mishpat and practice Mishpat, which is the essence of the Torah. 
What does it says in Galatians 6? It says, bear each other burden. It's the Torah of the Messiah. Why? Because it's the Torah is not about orthopractic mitzvot of do and don't. That is not the essence of the Torah. And the Torah says here, I will give you the covenant of grace because you have extended the grace to Esau. If you extend the grace to Esau by teaching Esau mishpat, then I will give you grace. Well, what is the mishpat that you have to give to Isav? After all, Isav is wicked. Listen to what it says in Pirkei Avot 1.6. It says, in the time when you are to judge your brother, judge and Yaakov and Isav are brother, Judaism and Christianity are brother, judge him for the benefit of the merit. What does it mean? in the context of the word mishpat. To do mishpat the chesed, according to the Torah, is the mean that you judge him favorably in case of doubt. Us as Jews cannot look at Christianity only on the negativity, but to give the remnant who are going to be part of the fix the opportunity to Break the tikkun and to come out of Edom and join the house of Jacob. Give doubt, give grace, give mishpat. That's going to bring chesed to the world. And ultimately, ultimately, it's going to bring the new covenant. Just as the text says here, I'm going to give you the covenant of grace. When will Mashiach come to the law to the world? When we learn how to love one another. The second temple was destroyed on baseless hatred. And that's why it says in the Midrash, only on baseless love. The world and the coming of Mashiach will be reestablished. This is friends, our Regard, be free.